I've finished the neck edge there it is and again consistent with the cuff edges just to repeat there's the pickup knitted first row knitted second row knitted third row cast off so that it again when you're looking at the work you can see the nice chain of the cast off there's the back of the garment I didn't tie a knot when I finished this is where I'm going to show you how I finish off so that was the last stitch no knot but I am going to pull the yarn through and what I'm going to do because I didn't join it to close the gap when I did the third row or the sorry the cast off row I'm now going to show you how to finish it in a different way to close that gap if you've seen these these are brilliant three different sized yarn hooks or yarn needles take the medium sized one the middle one put your yarn through so I want to bring this together so the yarns coming out of the front of the stitch I'm going to put it through the two two yarns of the first stitch take it through then I'm going to put the needle into the back of the stitch that we originally came out of and we create a stitch there I'm going to take it through the back to make it the same as every other stitch and just to make it a bit taut a bit sturdy I'm not going through to the front literally just going to secure this so take it through yes it's a little bit bulky at the back but it will be secure so that's where the stitch is that one there so again just take things through some of these stitches at the back now you're securing the yarn whoops is that enough probably you can see yes where I was closing the gap but that will be at the back so shouldn't be too much seen because the front's nice and neat it's just a bit different I am going to finish it there so I'm just going to cut the yarn pull it in a bit there you go so from the front view that's what it looks like <laughs>